All right, welcome to part two, texturing. This is where it gets fun in Substance Painter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is back into Maya. Um, I've got all my uh, pieces exported out from ZBrush. I'm gonna do some last minute uh, adjustments here. I forgot to mention that I did just a quick UV unwrap in ZBrush just to basically go through and get these down and dirty. I was only spending like no more than an hour in each app. So I just wanted to get this done like in three hours. So what I had to do here is I added a couple of extra pieces of geometry. I think I did do a couple of custom UVs in Maya, but for the most part, everything was done over in ZBrush. Um, also, one thing to note is I am setting up um, my materials so that I can have texture sets to work with in Substance. So um, I decided to do it this way. Instead of having everything in one texture map, I wanted to have five distinct maps. So uh, we've got the torso, I've got the waist, um, the head, the arms and the legs all on their own um, maps. That way I can work in 2K, um, if I, you know, depending on how much detail I want to get in these things. Again, this is just kind of like concepting right now. This was like, to, like what can I do in three hours? I carved up some time. Um, okay, now we jump over to Substance and I go through and import my model. And then here's another thing where the, uh, I think this is taking advantage of the GPU, but it's really fast. Um, baking the maps is a breeze. And you know, I'm sure the Thread Pro is also contributing a little bit here, but um, it's just been so it's a dream to work with this machine. It's just really fast. And um, I should also mention that this all these videos were edited uh, in Adobe Premiere, only my second time using Premiere, and um, it went pretty smoothly. And I was uh, fortunate to get a really cool uh, demo of a friend of mine let me borrow his Blue Yeti microphone. So I'm actually recording this for the first time through Premiere and I'm uh, finding that's a pretty cool process. So what you've been watching here, I'm just kind of going through and I'm doing a lot of experimentation. You know, I'm kind of just like goofing around with colors and um, trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, find some uh, logos online with some uh, PNG transparency so I can go through and use them as texture maps. I'm going to kind of do a little projection here and paint them on and then decided here to kind of change my color palette. And um, we're gonna refine some other pieces here. You know, the thing about substances is so easy just to drag and drop and experiment. And my workflow that I like to use a lot is I'll, you know, slap on a smart material first, see what, how it's reacting, and then um, drop in a fill layer and do some, uh, generate some max, and then uh, go through and uh, add a generator to that uh, edgeware or dirt or what, what have you. So, let's see here. Oh, this is one, sense, uh, one instance where I decided just to paint, hand paint some detail just to kind of, just to do it. Again, I'm just mocking stuff up here. This is not like a final final for anything to be used. It was just like, hey, you know what? I have three hours carved out over the weekend. Let me see what I can try to, try to crank out using my three main uh, apps. Maya to ZBrush to Substance and then rendering back in uh, Maya. So another great thing about Substance 2 is um, they've got a great renderer built in and I do a lot of look dev just inside Substance. So I, I'll sit here and you know experiment with different angles, change up my maps, and um, fool around with some post effects. Um, oh, I decided to go back in and now uh, enhance a little bit more with some normal maps. And so I'm going through here and just experimenting and see what I can add to the different channels. And then I go back and do some more renders, I believe. Let me see here. Oh, I'm actually exporting for use in rendering. So now we're going to go over to Maya and uh, jump back into RedShift. So meet me over in part three. <laughs> 